Hello friends, in this video, I will explain about the time management in software environment and the steps that are present in the time management process. First, we will see the time along with its attributes. Time is a neutral entity. It can be used either constructively or destructively. And it is a resource that cannot be increased and it cannot be saved for the future use also. In real time, any activity requires time, but it is better if it is having a minimum quantum of time. Time is like a currency, but it is more valuable than currency in some cases. In any software environment, every delivery of a product that are supposed to make is having a time constraint. All these products must be delivered within a stipulated time given by the clients. Without a proper time management, a project can head towards a disaster. When it comes to the project management, it is not just only for a specific person like a project manager. Every person who is involved in the project must and should follow the time management. Here I have two definitions for time management. One is an informal definition and second one is a formal definition. Time management is nothing but it is managing ourselves with respect to time. If we have multiple tasks, we can set the priorities for these tasks and work out on each priority with a deadline. And hence, time is used efficiently to achieve the maximum quality of the output. And this is a formal definition of time management. It is nothing but an act or process of planning and exercising the conscious control over the amount of time spent on a specific activity. So we may have multiple activities in our work environment. We have to plan and exercise these activities within a time boundary. And this is mainly used for increasing the effectiveness, efficiency or productivity of the software systems. Time management can be aided with many skills, tools and techniques used for managing the time. So nowadays we have many softwares or applications for time management. So these applications will give the starting time and the task for the employee and the employee has to work on it and they have to be submit the output of that task within the deadline. So for this, the employees must manage the activity with respect to the time. Time management system is designed a combination of many processes, tools, techniques and numerous methods. And it is mainly required for any project development and it determines the project completion time and scope. Time management has been considered a subset of different concepts. In other words, time management is a subset of project management and attention management. Time management can be considered to be a project management subset and it is more commonly known as a combination of project planning and project scheduling. Time management has also been identified as one of the core functions in the project management. And the second one, attention management. So it relates to the management of the cognitive resources. And in particular, we can say that this is the time that human allocates their mind to conduct the specific activity. We have different steps in the time management process. Those are included here. First, define the list of activities, sequence the activities, resource estimation, and duration and effort estimation, development of the schedule, and schedule control. The first one is define the list of uh, activities. For example, assume you are a member of any project team. The project manager is going to work on the complete project, but he is alone cannot work on the complete project. He will divide this work into number of activities and he will distribute these activities to all the members in the team. First, we have to define what are the list of activities. Once those activities are identified, then we have to arrange those activities in the form of sequence. Sequence here means, so what is the activity that is to be done at highest level? Then what are the activities 
that are to be done at the lowest level. So in addition to this, we also concentrate on the dependency of activities. The third one is resource estimation for activities. For each activity, now you have to find out what are the resources required and how many resources required. Here the resource means that may be either computer resource, hardware or software resource or it may be a manpower and we have to find out how many number of resources are required. So this is very important because so in a software environment we have some limited resources. All these resources will be used in an efficient way and then you have to give the duration and effort estimations. How much time that activity will be finished. The fifth step here is development of the schedule. In order to create an accurate schedule, few parameters from the previous steps are considered. For example, activity sequence is required, duration is required, it requires the number of resources also. In case, if you perform this step manually, you may end up wasting a lot of valuable project planning time. So why? Because there will be a planning time also. So if you spend more time on developing this schedule, then project planning time will be wasted. So for this, we have several packages or softwares for preparing a schedule. Once the schedule is prepared, those schedules are not static. So because the schedule may be varied depending upon the situation. For example, there may be a change in the plan. At that time, we need to control the schedule. These are the major steps uh, that are involved in the time management process. Here, I depicted few more important points in the time management process. First, create an environment conductive to effectiveness and setting the priorities. Here we have many activities or tasks. We have to set the priority for each task. Carry out the activity around those priorities. If a task is having highest priority, then those tasks will be evaluated or executed first. The tasks which are having lowest priority, those will be worked on later point of time. In addition to this, the related process of reduction of time spent on non-priorities. If a task is having a less priority, we have to spend less time on it. For the tasks which are having highest priorities, we have to spend more time. In this way, we can use the time effectively for increasing effectiveness, efficiency or productivity of a software application. If you have any queries, please comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.